Yo, it's me, your boy, Shonen Boy, here today. I'm here today to do the top 10 things that the One Piece Netflix live action needs to get right for this to be successful or for this to be, you know, a good, um, you know, live action in my um, eyes. So let's get straight into this. So uh, number one is uh, Shanks giving Luffy the hat. This moment in uh, the live action has to be good like i really want um this part in the uh like when luffy is given the hat by shanks and he's a little kid and and shanks tells him like um I, I believe in you you're gonna be the king of the pirates one day i'm gonna give you this straw hat and um and you, know, you give this back to me when you become a, a great pirate and i really want that you know um that moment to be really good and really um, really sell me on the uh, show because that moment is going to really sell me on this show to say okay they're actually doing um that they're, they're going to do this right and um and this is going to be like um one of the, like i feel like this is going to be in like the first episode um where like shanks gives like luffy the hat and we see like luffy's backstory and everything like that with uh, shanks and where he eats uh, the gum gum fruit and everything like that. Um, this I uh, this moment has to be um, really like good. I um because it will sell me on the uh, show um, to say oh I've got to pay attention to this shit because this is gonna be good. So yeah, so that's one that's one moment that I want it to be really good. Is Shanks giving Luffy the straw hat? Uh, number two is Luffy punching the Sea King. I really want to see this thing um, because I just want to see this moment because um, Luffy punching the Sea King is just so, I guess, like, I, I'm like iconic, like, I guess you say it because, like, um, because, like, um, because I've seen Luffy punch that Sea King so many times, and it's been, um, you know, done and, um, you know, every, like, it's been done, uh, redone so many times, where, like, he, uh, Luffy starts his adventure, and he punches the Sea King, and, um, I just want to see that, because it just shows, like, his character, and, um, his Delphur, and everything like that, and it would just be a good test of, like, I guess, power, and everything like that, how, you know, Luffy can punch, uh, the Sea King that took, you know, um, Shanks' arm and everything like that. So I really want to see Luffy punches the Sea King. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, moving on to uh, Zoro versus Mihawk. Now, Zoro versus Mihawk, this is going to be the fight that I want to see the most in, uh, you know, in the live action of our One Piece. Um, this fight has to be done perfectly because there's a. a I. I love the Zoro versus Mihawk fight. I loved it because it shows how far Zoro has to go to be at Mihawk's level. Because Mihawk is fighting Zoro with like a, a, a like with a bloody like pocket knife. He's literally fighting Zoro with a pocket knife, and he's not even using like hockey or anything. He's not he's not even using anything of his uh, real strength. And like and Zoro is going all out. And the stuff that we know now in um, in the uh, current um, manga and everything like that, like um, up to date, like like Mihawk wasn't using anything about of his power. He was using like a tenth of his power when he was versing Sora for the first time, and everything like that. So yeah, so this fight has to be really well done, and I really want to see some really good chore um, choreographing, uh, with, like, you know, the stunts and everything like that, um, I want to see, you know, Zoro, um, using three sword style and everything like that, and, um, you know, don't cheap out on the whole three sword style, I want to see Zoro having three swords out, with, like, one in his, one, of it, one in his mouth, and two, like, uh, and, and holding, um, you know, his two other swords, like, that would be, uh, I just want to see, you know, Zoro doing three sword style, I know it's going to be hard, because, you know, it's hard to like um put a sword in your mouth but like um it's like it's zoro um so like um you have to have the three sword style it, it's like zoro's thing so yeah so i want to see the zoro versus mihawk fight and i it better be good it better be like one of the best fights in the live action of our one piece so yeah 
And then the other thing I want Zoro to nail um, in the live action is Zoro's speech to Luffy when he loses to Mihawk. And he says, I, and this is the only time that I will lose ever. Like, I will never lose again. Is that okay? pirate king and he, and he holds up his sword and everything like that and he i mean he, he declares to luffy that i will never lose again um you know is that okay you know um um pirate king and and luffy is like sure and uh, that speech that uh zoro you know says to luffy um that has to be delivered so well like i um, i want these two moments to, um, the Zora versus Mihawk and the Zora speech to be done really well because that is one of the um, two best Zoro moments in uh, East Blue. So yeah, I want these two things to be really good and it would make the show that much better if they just nail these two things. So yeah. Um, moving on to, uh, Sanji, there's two things that I want Sanji, um, um, my boy Sanji, uh, they have to nail, because Sanji's backstory, they have to nail that with, uh, uh with owner Zeph, um, and him, you know, starving on that, you know, island, and everything like that, and him, you know, um, and him, you know, forming that bond with uh, Zeph and everything like that, and then, you know, them, uh, getting the restaurant and everything like that, Sanji's backstory um, has to be done. Um, I want that to be nailed. And maybe you can throw in a bit of Germa. Maybe I don't know. I maybe you can. I mean, like, I mean you can like uh, throw in a little bit of a uh, uh, a, a, a little bit of like sanji's backstory about the with like germa and everything like that i don't think they will because uh germa double six is not until later later on but uh you know but sanji's backstory with owner zef has to be nailed because it sets up his character and it's a really good backstory for sanji and it gets you into his uh, you know character and how he um how he feels about food and everything like that and why he became a chef and you know um and all that sort of stuff it's um it's one of the best backstories um um in one piece and i love it so yeah so sanji's backstory has to be nailed the other sanji thing that they have to get right is when sanji's leaving the Briottier to go with Luffy and he uh you know bows his head at, at owner Zeph and says owner Zeph and um you know and he cries and everything like that that moment has to be really well um you know done for me uh, I really want that to be a really um you know a, a really good selling point um in the uh show like sell that you know moment to me um that you know that connection with uh you know owner Zeph and also um you know and Sanji, I want that moment to be really, uh, you know, sold to me. Like, um, you know, him bowing his head and him crying and everything like that. That that moment has to be nailed um, for me. So, yeah. Uh, moving on to uh, Nami. Now, Nami's backstory... Um, is probably the best backstory in uh, in East Blue. It's the best backstory in East Blue, in my opinion. Um, you know, her f um, you know, trying to get all the money for Kokoyashi Village, trying to, you know, buy it her island back and everything like that from Arlong and Arlong's like, you know, rule over, um, you know, Nami, um, you know, ruling over her life and keeping her underneath her, um, um, his thumb and everything like that. And, you know, um, his like terror and everything like that. Just, um, just a sense of like, she's like, um, hopeless. Like she can't get out of this, like, you know, of his like rule over her and everything like that. And I just want the, uh, backstory to be really sold to me that like, you know, Arlong is this, you know, um, you know, really terrible, um, you know, um, um, person and this really terrible, like, you know, um, um, Tanami and, and the rest of Kokoyashi village where he like rules over them, like a warden and everything like that. And he wants like, um, you know, he, he wants their money and everything like that. I, I want Arlong to be really like menacing and everything like that. And, um, for, you know, them to nail Arlong because Arlong is going to be, uh, you know, a really, um, big, uh, you know, and, um, um, you know, villain in the East Blue that Luffy has to defeat and everything like that. And I just want, uh, you know, Arlong to be, uh, like, nailed and Nami's backstory to be, like, really good, like, you know? So, yeah. Uh, so moving on to uh, Nami stabbing her tattoo. I want this uh, um, in the show... 
a lot because I want to see, uh, you know, Nami actually like stabbing her tattoo and uh, and just you know screaming along, 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 along. Like she's just like you know stabbing her, and I and I don't think they're actually going to like you know uh, show the actual like um the person who's playing Nami actually stabbing herself, but like. I kind of want to see them actually like show um, the fu- like the frustration, the anger, and just you know this um you know um her like you know stabbing herself, just screaming along over and over again because that is just and then Luffy like grabbing the knife and she's saying you know help me and that um that scene where like you know Luffy's like I'll help you because you're my friend you're my nakama that moment I want that to be one of the best moments in the uh One Piece live action because it was one of the best moments in uh Arlong Park and it has to be like um, one of the best moments in the live action where like Luffy says I'll help you and he grabs the boys he grabs Sanji he grabs Zoro and he grabs Usopp and they all walk to Arlong Park and they do that epic walk and everything like that and I just want that moment um, to be done right I really want that to be done right so yeah uh, the uh, next one is uh, Luffy versus Arlong. Luffy versus Arlong is going to be the the fight. Like they have to nail this fight. Like all the other fights that Luffy does in East Blue, I don't really care because like when he fight uh, when he fights uh, Kuro, I don't really ca- I'm like I'm like um I don't really care when he um when he fights Kuro in um in uh. Uh, Usopp's village. I don't really care when he versus Don Krieg um, at you know the Baratier, um, I don't really care. Like none of these fights, I really cared about at all um, until like Arlong versus Luffy because this was actually like you know a really you know like a, a really good fight in the um, in the anime and also in the manga. Like this was some, some real shit. Like Luffy versus Arlong wasn't you know fucking around. Like this was actually like life or death like if luffy um you know, uh, screwed up he i'm um, like arlong could have actually like killed luffy a- a- in that fight and this was not a fight where he could just like dick around and everything like that and it was different to all the other fights that luffy had in east blue sure he fought buggy and it was like um, it's, it's, it was like his first sort of fight and like he um he fought buggy but it wasn't really like uh you know a balls out fight like sure yeah it was um it was a good fight but um you know it was on balls out fight then like he versed like uh you know um uh kuro um at like you know usopp's village like he fought him and it was it wasn't that like kuro was nothing it was like it was shit honestly and then like and then um and then he versed don krieg and like and don krieg was like you know he was something but like I feel like uh, Don Krieg wasn't that, like, that villain that was, like, really, like, that was going to, like, kill Luffy. Like, I never thought that Don Krieg was going to kill Luffy. And then Arlong comes along. This, um, Arlong is different. Arlong is going to, um, is, um, has to be the most menacing and the most, um, you know, evil villain that Luffy has ever fought, and they have to nail, um, Arlong in the, in the live action, and, uh, Luffy versus Arlong has to be done really well, in my opinion, because that fight is one of the best fights in, um, in East Blue, and, um, and it, it was it hits different. It hits different than all the other fights that Luffy has in the East Blue. It hits different than any other fight. Um, and I want it to be I want it to be done really well. So yeah. Moving on to uh, some of the um, some of the side characters that I want to be done really well. Smoker, Smoker. I um, I don't know who's playing Smoker just yet. I don't know if we got an announcement on who's playing Smoker yet. But I want to see Smoker, and I want to see um, you know him um, um, doing his cigars and everything like that, and I want to see him actually fight Luffy and show off his powers and everything like that because Smoker was OP back in the day, like he was OP back in the day. Not so much now, but like 
Smoker was cool back in the day, but uh, I want Smoker to undone really well. Uh, Dragon, I haven't seen any... Uh, I, I don't know who's going to be playing Dragon, but we only get to see Dragon a little bit at, um, at Logtown, and I want to see Dragon uh, be done really well and uh, in his speech uh, to, like, you know, go out and, you know, experience uh, um, all this um, all this world that has to offer and everything like that. And um, I just want... Uh, I just want to see who's going to play Dragon and if they're going to do the character justice because Dragon shows up a lot and same with Smoker. Shanks, uh, we do know who's going to play Shanks. Um, Shanks has to be nailed perfectly because Shanks is a big character in uh, One Piece and he, um, and he pops up here and there um, from time to time. He doesn't pop up a lot and I'd like to pop, I, I like to, um, for him to like, you know, um, see him a lot more but he is like a very, central character in the One Piece um, world so um, Shanks um, is a big you know um, like he, um, he has to be nailed really well so yeah um, Mihawk Mihawk oh I, I'm like um, that's what I was saying with uh, the Zora versus Mihawk fight. I want Mihawk to be done um, really well by the person who's going to play Mihawk we do know who's going to play Mihawk um, but um but uh I just want Mihawk um, to have that, you know, charisma, that, like, you know, um, the attitude and everything like that. Like, he's, like, the best, and he's, like, the best swordsman around. And I want him to, like, really sell the role of, um, you know, being the best swordsman and everything like that. And, oh, man, I, I just want to see I just want to see Mihawk and, uh, and uh, Shanks in this live action the most. Um, so, yeah. And then Arlong. Oh, Arlong, um, like I said, I want to see, um, I want them to nail Arlong when it comes to him being a villain and everything like that and his laugh and all that sort of stuff and him really being like a, you know, a tyrannical like ruler over like, um, of Kokoyashi Village and, you know, being the, I make you know, really bad guy he is and everything like that. And I just want to see, you know, Arlong be done really well because Arlong was different back in the day so yeah um and the last one I want to um I want to see is uh Buggy Buggy has to be nailed perfectly and uh I just want to see but uh, I just want to see the person who's playing Buggy uh just be like you know, I'm, I'm doing the whole clown dancing and everything like that and being wacky and having the red nose and everything like that I just want to see that I want to see Buggy all dressed up and everything like that the actor who's playing Buggy and I just want to see him in costume it looks so cool um but uh yeah i, I want to see buggy uh done right because he's he shows up a lot actually buggy does so yeah and last but not least episode 53 i want episode 53 to be done really well if you don't know what that episode is it's when uh luffy and the straw hats that he's gathered um, over the course of all the east blue adventures um he gathers them and they're about to go to reverse mountain they're about to go into the grand line and they um and they get this barrel and they put it on the ship and they uh you know they say all the di their different um you know dreams to each other like uh uh, Luffy wants to become the king of the pirates. Zoro wants to become, you know, the greatest swordsman. Uh, uh, Sanji wants to find the all blue. Uh, Nami wants to draw a uh, map of the world. And Usopp wants to become the, a great warrior of the sea. And uh, they they declare all their dreams to each other, and then they whack the uh, you know the barrel, and it, and it splits, and uh, and that's like the ending of like the East Blue, and that's the uh, that's what I want uh, the ending of this live action to be. I want them to you know de declare all their dreams, and uh, you know to say um all the um and then you know split the barrel, and then that's where it ends, and uh, they go into the Grand line and we're v reverse mountain and everything like that and that's where uh season two um you know goes into so yeah um i hope when it comes to the live action they don't take too long um if this is successful and everything like that and i have hope i have hope that it's going to be successful and everything like that i have hope in them and uh when they um when this comes out and everything like that um i i really hope that they don't take too long to make a season two to this show if it's successful and everything like that and i have hope i have hope but these are um these are some things that i want to see in the live action and they 
have to nail for this to be successful in my opinion so yeah but uh yeah but anyways this is your boy shonen boy signing out you know like and subscribe comment down below uh what do you want to see the most in this one piece live action that they're going to do for netflix what do you want to see uh what do you, what's um, moments what scenes and, uh, and everything like that that they have to nail for you to really sell you on this show um how do you feel about the night uh, the one piece live action are you uh hopeful or do you think this is not going to work or anything like that just put that in the comments down below your thoughts and opinions and until next time i'll talk to you guys later and have an awesome day